Hello, this is Orthodoxy and the World, Pravmir. My name is Anna Danilova. We are here with the most important news and stories. Five people were killed in a shooting in Dagestan this Sunday. An armed man started shooting in the crowd. People were just leaving church after the Sunday of Forgiveness, the last day before the Great Lent. This is a very important day for all the Orthodox people. Uh, some of the people were celebrating Maslinitsa. So an armed man started shooting into the crowd. Four people were killed on site for women. One woman died later in hospital. Five more people were injured. This is a horrible tragedy, but Several days after the tragedy, we learned some important details about what happened. When the criminal entered into the churchyard, a woman, Irina, a poor woman, she was sitting around the church begging for money. She was a very kind woman, known as a very kind, very welcoming, very good woman. She was the first to see the criminal. She started shouting at him, she started beating him, and she covered the gun with her body. During this time, the people in the church managed to close the doors, and so this prevented from more casualties. She was the first to be killed, but she managed to detain the killer. We pray for their souls and we ask you also to pray for the souls of these five women. Another story today is about priest Arkady Shlykov. He passed to God last week. We did not know the date when it's happened. He revived the church in Karelia. When I was a student, he and two of his friends came to Karelia to simply spend some time there to enjoy the nature, fishing, breathing fresh air and communicating with the people. He was a student. He studied the cults of Mexican Indians. He studied in the Institute uh, of hum Humanitarian uh, Studies. And there they understood, all the three friends, that they can't only take all the time something from this fantastic region, but they also have to give something to it. They decided that one of them is going to become priest. So Arkady went to get the education to graduate from the Moscow Seminary, and he was ordained as a priest. He was one of the most welcoming, most modest, and most kind priests. His doors were always open for everyone. Once he gave shelter to a man who was recently freed from prison, and he was not afraid to simply open his doors for a person he saw for the first time in his life. The man robbed him and took all the money that Father Arkady was saving up to build a banya. And when people, friends, asked if he was going to go to the police with that, he said, no, he wasn't. He wasn't going to report anybody. And there was another story. A woman in the village needed medicine. It was quite an urgent case. But there was no possibility to reach another bank of a river nearby. So Father Arkady himself went into the water and crossed the river without a boat. He went there because it was important, because he knew that the woman needed the medicine. So without a single hesitation, he went there to the pharmacy. He never took money from the people. It was his, well, basic idea that he has to give. And he was having a very poor life, but he actually tried all the time to help all the other people. He asked everyone to buy small rugs that one man from his village was making. They were very cheap and very simple, and all Father Arkady's friends were having these small rugs in his home. He has inspired many photographers 
to create fantastic series of photographs and he loved it. He loved this process of uh, picturing, of portraying this simple life. Yekaterina Solovyovo, one of the famous documental photographers, her book is now going to be published in English, was the person he has inspired greatly. Kate Solovyovo is one of those more than 100 people who came to Koldozera, Karelia, to say goodbye to Father Arkady. Here he spent all his life. He has revived this church of the Nativity of Virgin. His doors were always open for everybody. Everybody could come without explaining, without reasons. Have a tea, have some food and have a talk with Father Arkady. It is very difficult to explain what he meant and what he was like in just two or three minutes. But as Kate says, they have to learn how to live without him. He gave to his spiritual children an image of what a true Christian should be like. He maybe wasn't like many other people. He didn't care too much about how he looked like, didn't care about money, but he always was so open to God and he loved people so much that they came again and again and a lot of people came to say goodbye to him. As Kaiser says, they will continue coming here, remembering Father Arkady. Father Arkady passed to God last week, and we hope that he is praying for us, and we again ask you to pray for his soul. In a week, we will be back with more stories about real people. This was Orthodoxy and the World.